Climbing roofs and handling property claims is inherently dangerous. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Always seek out professional claims adjuster and fall protection training. There's no way around it, climbing roofs is dangerous. Even with rope and harness training, accidents can still happen. I don't say this to scare you though. If you're careful, if you don't get overconfident and you practice your skills, you should be able to avoid any sudden unplanned ambulance rides. So let's talk about the number one thing you can do to stay safe on steep and high roofs. Starting now. You're watching the Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. Get the free insurance for adjusters guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by the IA firm CCMS and Associates. To apply to this fast growing and innovative firm, email your resume and a compelling cover letter to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. It's one of the biggest things that you can do to help adjust your TV. Click on that bell notification so that you never miss a video. If you wanna be fully self-sufficient in the field as a property adjuster, whether you're doing cat or daily claims, you're gonna to need to be able to access all but the most extreme roofs. Carrying ladders that can get you up on two-story eaves is a great first start. Personally, when I'm out on claims, I carry two ladders, one 24-footer and one 32-footer, both aluminum because they're lighter. There are few roofs that I can't access with one of these ladders. And the great thing about the 24-footer is that I can get on most two stories with it. And for one-story buildings, I don't even have to extend it. I can just lean it up against the house and get to work. And you probably think it's crazy for me to even mention taking a few extra seconds to extend a ladder, but I'm telling you, Shave a few seconds off of a bunch of different things in your workflow, and you're talking about hours saved in a day. What does that mean? That means you can do one or more extra claims per day. Not because you're going faster, but because you're just spending less time doing things. Everything I do when I'm running claims, everything. I do for a reason. And second, having rope and harness gear is also very important, but if not used properly, it can result in you taking the fast way down. Coming up, I explain the number one thing that you can do to reduce the risk of falling off of a roof. But first, speaking of insurance, as insurance adjusters, we have to be covered by insurance. Writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can and will happen. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. So what's the number one thing? Practice every day. Join a rock gym, learn to rock climb, and make it a hobby. Do two-story steep ladder assist in your downtime, anything. Why? Here's what happens with rope and harness training and gear, okay? In January, you go and get trained up for rope and harness because an IA firm offered it or people on social media said you, that you needed it. And then you go spend several hundred bucks on the training and then you get the gear and everything else. Then what happens? You spend the summer deployed to suburban St. Louis in a neighborhood where all the roofs are 312 gable ranches. There's not a steep or high roof in sight. The summer ends and you go home. Your bag of rope and harness gear gets stowed in the corner of your garage until next spring. April rolls around and you get deployed on a sewer backup storm for a couple of weeks. And then you get another summer deployment to the suburbs where the roofs are still not very scary. You're just not encountering a roof that's worth the hassle of breaking out your rope and harness gear. But then in late October, a hurricane hits New York and every single roof is tall and steep. When was the last time you even opened your rope and harness gear bag? That's right. January 21 months ago. If you even remember that this thing is called a Grigri, you're not gonna remember how to attach it to your harness or to your rope. Will you remember how to anchor yourself? Will you remember anything from that class that you took almost two years ago? Listen, setting aside the fact that you're almost guaranteed to fall off the first roof you try to use your dusty rope and harness gear on, consider this. If you roll up on the house and realize that you definitely need to break out your two-story steep gear, you're gonna spend an extra 30 minutes to an hour unclustering a pile of rope and webbing spaghetti in the insured's driveway. What are you accomplishing? 
you're wasting time. You can't remember how to use the Lucky Launcher. You can't remember any of the knots you learned. You put your harness on backwards. I can promise you that with a contractor and the insured standing there watching you with their arms crossed, the pressure is gonna make this even worse. So what's the one thing that you can do, even if you rarely use your two-story steep gear, to keep you from looking like an idiot and possibly dying in the process? Practice. Like I said, do ladder assist in your downtime, join a rock gym, if you're like me and you live in the mountains, go rock climbing outside in the great out of doors. My wife and I go rock climbing a few times every summer. But before we go, each and every time, I reread my rock climbing books and I will practice my knots. And speaking of knots, next up, my buddy Jared from Bully Bag and Adjuster Supply will demonstrate how to build the single most important rope and harness knot that you need to know and to practice. But first, are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Then let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called the big mom and pops firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented, top-notch adjusting team. If you would like to become a part of the family, email your resume and cover letter directly to careers at CCMSclaims. Dot com. The most critical knot for rock climbing or roof climbing or really any kind of fall protection rigging is the figure eight knot. You use this knot to tie off to anchors and to your harness. You must be able to make this knot in your sleep correctly. So here's Jared from Bully Bag and Adjuster Supply to show you how. Hey everybody, my name is Jared Allen with the Bully Bag and Tool Company and AdjusterSupply.com. Here today we're gonna go over the um, figure eight knot, which is a uh, an excellent knot. It's easy to untie. Doesn't um, um, bind up in such a way that's going to, you know, harangue you whenever you're trying to get off site. But it does secure in such a fashion that's going to make you feel secure uh, whenever you're uh, roping up for your, um, you know, uh, PFAS, your uh, two-story steep rope and harness. I've got some dynamic rope here, and what I've done is I've went ahead and I've kind of marked one end of it, my free end, so you see what's uh, which one's your free end. So what you're going to take, you're going to create a bend. In your rope, you're going to twist it two times. One, I've got my fingers between the between them. One, two times. Okay, hold that rope, and you're going to insert your free end right through it. Okay, when you do that, you'll have an eight. Okay, you're going to take your free end. You're going to go around your tree. So in this case here, our handy dandy um, uh, ladder is acting as our securing post, our tree, what have you. I'm out there assuming I'm by myself and needing to get the job done. You're gonna follow this line back all the way until it comes out the other end. So in this case here, I'm gonna follow this line all the way back with its free end. So I'm gonna follow this here, one. Follow, follow, follow. We're gonna go under, we're gonna go around We're going to bring it on top here. Okay. You'll go across. Then we're going to come out the other end. Real simple. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Then you want to create a, a hitch, a backup, if you will. So in case this were to work its way loose in any kind of way, um, the slack is, is going to bind it. So in this case here, I'm going to um, pinch my rope. I'm going to wrap this around three times. One, two, and then three. Okay. I'm going to come back around. We're going to go through the hole on the back side. The idea being that if your free end, or if your secured end were to for were to slip for whatever reason, which it should not, it would get bound up right there at the figure eight, and um, you would still be safe and sec safe and secure. Get all the rope and harness gear you need to be safe on dangerous roofs at adjustersupply.com. And if you love this video, you'll love riding along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself, Chris Stanley from IA Path, Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School, and others will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know that it's hard to find a working adjuster who will let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days, absolutely free, at AdjusterTVPlus.com. Adjuster TV is the premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what adjusting is all about. 
if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career as a claims professional, a career where you can help people in their time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials, training and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. Hit the like button, even if you don't like this video, I think you'll be surprised at how good it makes you feel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.